Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about Taurus energy, and you can equate this to the Taurus sun sign if you would like to, but it's more so a general description of Taurus energy so that you can understand what it means in your birth chart. So what does Taurus energy entail, entail, entitle, what, whatever, it doesn't matter, and what exactly does it mean to give off Taurus energy, or what does that mean in each area of your birth chart? Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac. And the phrase for Taurus is, I have. Very like materialistic and sensual and all about the senses. God, every Taurus that I know is super earthy, but earthy in a very practical way that involves a lot of materialism, but not like overbearingly so. I mean, some Tauruses, totally. But wherever you have Taurus in your birth chart is where you will want to have or where you will crave substance and practicality um, fruits of your labors. So any work that like Taurus ever does is like they want to see proof of it in a tangible form and they want it to be beautiful. Taurus being ruled by Venus, um, Taurus women are normally gorgeous, voluptuous women. Uh, they just have this like Venusian beauty to them that screams like I am a goddess. <laughs> There's just something very beautiful about Taurus women. They are incredibly stubborn and super hard-headed. Um, all of my Taurus friends are like that. They're just very stuck uh, in their ways. A little bit possessive sometimes, especially in love. Especially if you have like Venus and Taurus. This definitely comes out. But it's more so like they don't enjoy their stability being messed with. Like the way that like the song Don't Rock the Boat, the like old 70s song, explains Tauruses so much. Like they are slow and steady and like they will stand beside you through thick and thin, definitely. But um, they can be a little bit possessive if they feel like their security is being threatened. Um, Tauruses are <laughs> incredibly hard-headed, but more so like when they commit like, you can't really get them to budge on it. And I mean committing in any sense, whether that's love or to a job or position or something. Because they have that desire to have, like, I have being their phrase, like, they just are so committed. And it's hard to get them to stop. Like, Tauruses are very, very focused on beauty and sensuality. And I'm when I say that, I mean all six senses. Give these people some fine food and like a good wine and flush, plush, blah, 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 plush fabrics and like all things of the highest quality and they will be happy. So a Taurus male would be somebody that would go out into the world and work very, very hard in a practical way for money um, in an incredibly committed way. Because these things are so important to them, it's almost as if a Taurus needs it. And not even almost, like they do need it in order to be their happiest. They have to be making all of their senses uh, happy to be sensual and like, and to pretty much be truly indulging in life in general. So if you have Taurus in like, say your um, sixth house, you're going to be a very slow and steady person in your everyday life. You're going to focus a lot on sensuality and like your surroundings being beautiful um, and putting all of that into your surroundings, having things around you that allow you to live out that Venusian energy. Taurus, like being the ruler of, or with Venus being the ruler of Taurus, I see this even more so than Libra because Libra is very focused on partnership. Taurus is like Venus and it's like purest form. It's like indulgence. It's good food, nice clothing, high caliber, everything. Everything that you can, like, tantalize your senses with, like, good smelling perfumes, um, even, like, down to, like, wanting to look at things that are beautiful. Like, for a Taurus or, like, a Venus in Taurus, they're not going to be happy with a partner that doesn't look nice. And I don't mean, like, they need somebody that's, like, the highest, like, caliber ever, even though Taurus does want the best of the best, definitely. Um, it's more so just, like, they want people to be physically appealing. Tauruses don't enjoy people that don't smell nice or don't look nice or don't put a lot into their appearance because 
the eyes being one of the senses, it is very important for them to be around beauty and to be around things that look nice to them. So a, to <laughs> a Taurus male or female will be very, very focused on making their surroundings beautiful. And um, anywhere that you have Taurus in your chart, this would be true. If you had Taurus in your second house, which Taurus is the ruler of the second house, which is finances and self-worth and stuff, you're just going to focus very largely on um, the beautiful aspects of life. You're going to want to indulge yourself with your money and spend it on tangible goods to be able to show like your efforts and to show like that you worked hard for this. And Tauruses definitely deserve that because they do work very, very hard. Taurus gets a kind of like a knack for being a like lazy sign and they are lazy to a sense. Um, they're lazy in the sense that they really know how to enjoy themselves sensually. So like wearing comfy clothes and like being able to lay around and like take a nap in the middle of the day, like a Taurus loves that or anybody with like strong Taurus placements. But that doesn't mean that they don't understand the need for hard work in order to be able to fulfill that. Like, if you are a male with Venus and Taurus, um, you are probably a gold digger. <laughs> You're going to go for a woman that can provide you with those things. Um, females with Venus and Taurus, it's a little bit different, and normally it's either you are a sugar mama or you kind of want, like, a balance normally. But with males, Venus is projected into, like, the woman that they want. So if you have Venus and Taurus, you're going to be searching for a woman that can provide you with all of these things. And pretty much any house that you go through with Taurus, it's just an area of life where you want to have. And by have, I mean that in every single way. You want to experience it all within yourself, like every single sense possible. You just want to enjoy and indulge in that area. So yeah, that's Venus and Taurus, or not Venus and Taurus, I apologize. That's Taurus energy in general. It's the basis of desire. It's passion. It's sensuality, it's beauty, it's everything that you would think of when you think of love, quote unquote. And love, I mean, in a general sense, not love for you, because that would be very, very unique to your own personal Venus sign. But it's love like Valentine's Day love, like what you think of when you think of Valentine's Day, love and like societal uh, definition of love. And it's, it's want and desire and indulging yourself in all of your senses. And pretty much just living like the life of a king or a queen in that area. So yeah, that would be Venus or screw it. I am having a hard time with this one. That would be Taurus energy. Like I said, wherever you have that in your birth chart, you will be able to see it definitely. Especially if you are like very self-aware and the more that you get into astrology, the more you will become self-aware of this. You will see like, oh, that, that is totally right. In that area, that is where I definitely feel my most sensual, where I crave the most beauty, where I crave the finest of goods, the finest of things in life. So hope you enjoyed it.